Hey guys, today's video is going to be talking about small engine head bolt torquing patterns. And this is an older 5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton flathead engine. And I just had us off making a video on uh, something else. And I figured it would be a good time to talk about this and another thing. Uh, on a lot of these, this type of engine, you get three bolts that are longer than the rest of them. And so this is your exhaust port where your muffler would be. And it's always these three bolts right here that are longer. And this is a example here the rest of the bolts over here are all the same the other five these two are different you can see here it's quite a bit longer if, if you want to know before you tear it down you can actually see it on most of them but the head's different on the bolt itself longer bolts got a slightly shorter head on it so that's an easy way to tell before you even start taking it loose but when you start taking them loose you can lay them out in a pattern that way you know how they go back in because you don't want to get them mixed up because it affects your uh, tightness on the head gasket. And these are longer on the exhaust port right here because there's higher temperatures here and it helps keep from blowing the head gasket right here. And a, ve a lot of vehicle engines are the same way too. It would be longer bolts in a certain spot. Just get them off about finger tight and then that would be a good place to start torquing them. And these are half inch drive on this particular engine and most small engines are half inch. Now I'm going to look in the repair book here to show you an example of how the uh, bolts are actually supposed to be torqued. Now I'm going to write on here so you can actually see it on the engine and then we'll torque it down real quick. Okay, so I write on the top of each head bolt here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the order you go around and tighten them. And you want to go around twice. But after you get all the tension on there, it will loosen the other ones a little bit. I mean, because your head gasket's compression, compressing too, so you got to make up the compensation for it. Now, when I make videos of rebuilding small engines, I don't always follow this exact pattern, but I always mention going in a crisscross pattern. And as long as you do that, you're safe. So if you don't have the pattern to go by, just kind of do them in a cross pattern. The way you're putting the pressure on evenly. So if you just go around like this, tighten them, you're you're warping the head gasket. I mean, it's not necessarily warping it, but you're causing it not to seal right. So you want to follow at least a, a crisscross pattern to get the, uh, you may be wondering, well, what do I do when I take the engine apart? Well, you want to follow basically a crisscross pattern when you take it apart. It's not quite as critical, but you do want to take the pressure off evenly because if you don't, you can actually warp the head a little bit. And uh, it's uh, it's real important actually and a lot of people overlook it but it's really something you should pay attention to especially when tightening it that's the main time you want to worry about it because most of the time when you're putting a new one on you're replacing the head gasket anyway so you want to make sure that the head gasket's sealing properly and this is the part of the video i say you might get bored kind of quick i'm going to actually show you torquing all these down <laughs> number one there's two three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now a lot of people stop there, but I highly recommend going back over them just to double check. See it turned just a little tiny bit right there. This just double checks that you didn't miss one or anything like that. I got another video that goes into detail on how to set and use uh, torque wrenches. And I use this particular one in the, in the videos for an example. This is a Craftsman. And you might want to watch that for a little more information on using torque wrenches and how to set them. But this video covers the torque patterns and overhead valve engines are going to be similar to it. The pattern will be different, but you can look them up online. Or if you have a Haynes or Shilton manual, you can go by that. Anyways, that's about it for this video, so we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.